Hey guys, this is Nick Donaldson. It's the, uh, you know, on YouTube, I think, yeah, I'm actually Nick Donaldson or NJD, 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 which is my initials three times uh, because, you know, people steal the emails. But anyways, um, so I'm making the video to actually show you how to back up your uh, iTunes device, so whether it be your iPhone, iPad, to an external device because Lord knows some of our startup drives are not big enough to actually hold the uh, backups, you know, when you got 64 gig as a backup uh, and maybe you got a small S SSD hard drive like I do, it's not going to work. So I uh, searched long and hard to find out how to do this and I eventually did figure out how to do it. I made this blog showing other people how to do it and this little video proving that I could do it. Um, and it does work, but for some people it was confusing and they wanted a video. And I actually didn't know how to make a video on my Mac to show this sort of stuff. So I've actually learned how to do that and it was actually a lot easier than I thought. So um, here we go. So let's get right into it. So as we follow along in my actual blog, uh, basically the funny thing is this little code here to start right here, L ln-s in terminal. Basically that means you're gonna take the second part of the code is the starting location and then the the first part of the code here is actually the ending location so it's kind of a little backwards but basically this tells your computer whatever goes into this location ends up here uh, so let's do that so like I say in my blog let's copy this little part of the code and do a blank text file which I conveniently have set up press the space bar then you're gonna go to the location that you want your actual backups to go to so in this case I create put a uh, 750 gig uh, second hard drive in my Mac mini my 2011 Mac mini and so I've called that folder iTunes device backup um, so what we're gonna do now because we need the full path uh, according to terminal so we're gonna drag that into a terminal window which I also have uh, conveniently set up so you can see the code there now so now you're gonna copy that the full code under your text file. Boom. Press the space bar. Now we gotta go to the original the, the place where iTunes wants to back up your uh, devices which is the mobile sync folder in your uh, so basically what you're gonna also have to do is um, just search Google on how to show hidden files on your Mac and uh, it's just a little code you type in your terminal and boom and then you gotta reset press the alt button uh, and right click and then you go relaunch the finder and then boom you'll be able to see all your hidden files um, so basically but the path is under your users under your startup drive your users your home folder your library which is normally hidden that's the one that's normally hidden then your application support and mobile sync so what I recommend which I actually don't say in my instructions on the website is if you've never done a backup before, make sure do a backup because you want you want this actual path uh, that iTunes wants to go to. So what we're going to do is again because we're trying to get the path, I'll make a new terminal window. Then we're going to take this folder here, and that's the. So what we're going to do is drag that in there. Now I've got the full code, the full path to that location. So I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to simply paste it into the my uh, text folder here now I've already done it and uh, I'm not gonna press enter on terminal but basic because you can see that little check mark there right there that or that little arrow sorry that means that it's that's I've it's pointing somewhere else it's actually uh, you know this process is completed so if but if you haven't you would have just a standard backup folder with no little arrow there and what you'd want to do, like I say on my blog, is to rename or trash your original backup folder that iTunes created. Um, so you have to delete it or else it won't because it basically creates a new folder pointing to the other, uh, your external hard drive folder. So you got you know, rename or delete that. So, uh, you know, move to trash or rename. Okay. Uh, once that's done, then... We go back to our text folder, text file, sorry. We copy that. We're gonna just to 
to speed things up right here. Another new terminal window. Oops. And then you just simply paste that in there and press enter. Literally at this point, press enter. And if you get your nice little name here showing up again, you've done it right. And you'll also notice that under the mobile sync, you'll get a folder called backup with an arrow pointing to your actual location. So I'm going to show you that it works like I tried to on my original video. Again, you click, you double click on it and notice how the path changed down here to 750 gig iTunes backup. You can see a backup that I did uh, yesterday, which is um, the actual iTunes backup. So there you go. So there's the actual video, the long awaited video that I know many of you have been waiting for. And uh, for all you people upgrading to iOS 7 um, and just looking to uh, put your you know, device backups to another hard, hard drive. So uh, there you go. Uh, it's done. Thanks for uh, checking out my blog and the YouTube channel. Uh, please give me a thumbs up and a, uh, uh, you know, whatever, a good comment. Uh, and uh, sorry the video took so long to make. I didn't, I actually had to learn how to make it. So there you go. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.